Hello, I'm Kevin at Kitronic. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to explain to you some of the features of our timed nightlight project. First of all, I'm going to take you through the parts used on the kit. Starting point for the kit is the PCB. We also have a 3 times AA battery holder, a PP3 battery snap, three different types of resistor, an LDR, the colour changing LED, four FETs, two pots and an electrolytic capacitor. Once built, your timed night light should look something like this. The timed night light has two clear features. One of these is the ability to detect the light level and at this point it will then turn on the LED. The second is to determine how long the LED stays on once lit. So if I show you how this works here, if we cover over the LDR, you'll see that the LED has come on. It's a colour changing LED, so the LED has now started to cycle through the colours of the rainbow. Now you'll see that's now gone off. That was because we've set the duration for which we want the LED to stay on for to the shortest possible time. If I now uncover the LDR and recover it, you'll see the LEDs come on again as that timer has been re-triggered. When you take your finger off the LDR at any point when the LED is on, you'll see that it's gone off. Now, this potentiometer here is used to trim or set the light level at which you would like the LED to come on. So for instance you could have it on when it's getting slightly dark or you could wait for it to be pitch black. The second potentiometer seen here is used to configure the duration for which you would like the LED to stay on once set. Now the maximum duration for which the LED can stay on is around the 30 minute mark. One other good feature of this circuit is that when the LED isn't on, the circuit takes virtually no power. This means that you can leave the batteries connected to the circuit without the need for a power switch and they should last for a number of months.